common mushrooms, toadstools, and the mold on leftover bread are all examples of fungi. Fungi can be found everywhere. In water, air, soil, plants, and animals. While there are some fungi like puccinia that can cause diseases like wheat rust in plants, there are also some like penicillium that provide us with antibiotics. With the exception of yeasts, which are unicellular, fungi are usually filamentous. Fungi consist of long, slender, thread-like structures called hyphae. A network of hyphae is known as mycelium. There are two types of hyphae. The first type is made up of continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm and is called Cenocytic hyphae. The second type of hyphae has septae or cross walls. Apart from hyphae, fungi are distinguished by their cell walls, which are made of chitin and polysaccharides. Fungi are heterotrophic. Fungi that absorb organic matter from dead substrates are called saprophytes. Fungi which depend on living plants and animals are called parasites. Some fungi are associated with other organisms in mutually beneficial relationships. For example, fungi associate with algae to form lichens. Other fungi associate with the roots of plants as Mycorrhiza. In both lichens and mycorrhiza, the relationship shared by fungi with the algae and the plant is called symbiosis. Fungi can reproduce vegetatively, asexually, as well as sexually. Fungi reproduce vegetatively by fragmentation fission and budding. They can reproduce asexually by either one of the following spores. Conidia, zoospores or sporangiospores. They also reproduce sexually by either oospores, ascospores or basidiospores. All these spores are produced in structures called fruiting bodies. There are three steps in the sexual cycle. Plasmogamy, karyogamy, and meiosis. The first stage involves the fusion of protoplasms between two motile or non-motile gametes. This is called plasmogamy. Plasmogamy occurs when two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types fuse. After plasmogamy, the two nuclei fuse together in the second stage known as karyogamy. Whereas in some fungi, the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in the formation of diploid cells or 2N. In other fungi, like ascomycetes and basidiomycetes, an intervening dikaryotic stage occurs. This condition of two nuclei per cell is called dikaryon, and the phase is called dikaryophase. Later, the parental nuclei fuse to make a diploid cell. The third stage involves reduction division, that is, meiosis, to form haploid spores. 
Meiosis occurs in the fruiting bodies of fungi. Together, the fruiting bodies, the mode of spore formation, and the morphology of the mycelium form the basis of the division of the kingdom fungi into various classes. There are four main classes of fungi. Phycomycetes, Ascomycetes, Basidiomycetes, and Deuteromycetes. Phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitat, decaying wood in moist places, and as obligate parasites on plants. Muca, Rhizopus, and Albugo are examples of phycomycetes. Phycomycetes have aseptate and cenocytic mycelium. They reproduce asexually by zoospores in the case of motile gametes and by aplanospores in the case of non-motile gametes. On the other hand, sexual reproduction leads to the formation of zygospores after the fusion of gametes. The gametes may be either similar or dissimilar. Members of the Ascomycetes class are commonly known as sac fungi. For example, Aspergillus, Claviceps, and Neurospora. They can be unicellular like yeast or multicellular like penicillium. They are saprophytic, decomposers, parasitic, or coprophilus. That is, they grow on dung. Ascomycetes have branched and septate mycelium. They reproduce asexually by spores called conidia that are produced exogenously on the special mycelium called conidiophores. Sexually, they reproduce through spores called ascospores that are produced endogenously in sac-like ascii. The ascii in turn are arranged in fruiting bodies called ascocarps. Some members of ascomycetes like morels are edible while others like neurospora are used in biochemical studies. Some common examples of basidiomycetes are mushrooms, bracket fungi, and puffballs. They grow in soil, on logs, and inside plant bodies as parasites such as rust and smut. Like ascomycetes, basidiomycetes too have branched and septate mycelium. Vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is a common form of reproduction among basidiomycetes. Sexual reproduction in basidiomycetes takes place even in the absence of sex organs. In the plasmogamy stage, two somatic cells of different genotypes fuse to form a dicaryote. The dicaryotic mycelium gives rise to the fruiting body called the basidiocarp, on which basidia arise and produce basidiospores exogenously as a result of meiosis. The last class of fungi, deuteromycetes, is known as imperfect fungi because we do not know enough about their life cycles. Only their asexual or vegetative phases are known. Deuteromycetes reproduce only through asexual spores known as conidia. They too have a septate and branched mycelium.
They are saprophytes or parasites, while a large number of them are decomposers, which help in mineral cycling. Alternaria, Coletotrichum, and Trichoderma are examples of deuteromycetes. Therefore, members of kingdom fungi display a diverse set of characteristics.